Hey, did you try those kebabs over there? That's really good. Oh, yes. And many a time. Are they... okay? Well, mm. sometimes it's a bad batch, but no, I'll be fine. Exactly. Okay. Thank you. I know exactly what I want to know. You see inside around. his armor, there seems to be something moving around, which is pink and long at his butts. You know, it might look a little bit fuzzy as well. <laughs> you make your way back to the inn. Uh, home, sweet, not mm. actually home. No, not even close. I, uh, Knock on the desk. Oh, honey, I'm home. Is that what you used to say when you came home? What? What? And... The devil materializes through the wall. Ah, hello. You managed ah. to obtain the horn. No. Monday was also nice, thank you for asking. Uh, no. But we're closing in on the horn. I almost died today. Yes, and so did I, good. Dave. I show I'm him not... the bag I bought from the granny. Look what I got. They even sell the stuff here. Ah, oh, yes. I remember them. Oh, I miss my pipe. Can you... Should I find use a pipe? them in this form? Uh, no, I can't actually interact with things. But if we like hot hot box in a room, do you sense that because you're in a room? No. Oh. Bad. I'm sorry. Hey, Devlin, I just realized something. Yes. My um I'm even not sure what to call him, but uh the person who bestowed me this power, he said that um, you're that I was a bull, or that I have the chance to grow. He uh, made an analogy of saying, uh, "From a uh, spark into an ember into a fire." Uh, so you know, that's quite rare. most owl? people tend to be kept quite. It varies. It's normally through experiences and overcoming obstacles. So it's not a, like uh, reading books or going to the gym kind of thing? Uh, potentially, that could be what helps. It depends on what path you have. Alright, doesn't mean anything to me. Well, if you have a path of might... And training your body would be beneficial. If you have a path of magic, then training your knowledge potentially could help quite a bit. But generally, surviving is the key factor. And if this person has said that you have potential to be grow so much, then that is beneficial to me. It is quite rare for someone to have so much potential. Normally, those who are gifted power have limits. I didn't get any spell. So you just took a chance with kidnapping four people? Oh, but of course, yes. Alright. I can only really find out what people can do when I find them to me. I, uh, I, I still don't like that you kidnapped us, but hey, gotta make the most out of it. I'm going to make something, and I'm going to the kitchen and start cooking something up. He wanders through to the front, so everybody else is. Uh, did anyone manage to acquire me the books I requested? No, but I'm writing my own book. Uh, please require me a handful of tomes from this plane. 
All right. Well, you did say please. With that, he kind of waves his hand and moves several things on the racks, tidying them a little bit before walking away through the wall towards the bathroom. If he can interact with things, how does he read books? Maybe he asks his from everywhere to switch the pages. He doesn't seem that helpful. Towards us. Hmm. Uh, Brandon just shrugs his shoulders, not offering anything verbally. You know what? We have a lot of stuff in here. Still looking around. Uh, yeah. Um, were you going to suggest that we try to sell some of it, Car? Maybe we should, like, find out exactly what we have first. Well, I mean... The weapons and armor. Well, I'm always more referring to, well, what your end goal would be. If it turns out what we've got is valuable. Yeah, so. Random people keep walking by like yesterday. Hmm. Didn't we make it so that... Yeah, though, yeah, I suppose while we're, while we're in the shop isn't a problem, is it? Because I think we asked Ellen to basically, well, keep the shop locked when we're not actually here. I will rummage around the camp area for a, like a notepad and some paper. Well, a pen. Yeah, there's still a parchment from the other day. I thought I'd left this here. I will wander around the shop and start taking an inventory of what we have. You could it be use Ventan creating an inventory. No, I am not gonna immediately start this off everything because there is a lot of stuff. Um I would say that because he's got nothing else bad to do at the moment, Brandon would assist Kara in this activity. If it counts for anything. So it's just like basic weapons? Basic weaponry, clothing yeah. for different environments, it seems, from casual to some winter coat clothing, uh, adventuring gear, different forms of backpacks, tools, collections of arrows, a uh, handful of books, uh, none of which you're able to read when you look at them. You see, the weapons are over here. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm seeing that there's... Well, I mean, actually, you know, for saying that this shop is... Well, I mean, we all were drawn to it. It actually is laid out pretty nicely. One compliment I'll give to the to the owner. We should put the weapons by the counter where we are. Oh! That way people have to walk up to us to buy them. Oh, you know what, Kara? That is actually an uncharacteristically good idea from you. Hey... No, but you do have a point. It's a valuable. Hmm. Hmm. Mr. Devlin. If I'm a shrewd Yes. Can I rearrange the shop, please? You can do as you please with it. Just keep it tidy. Thanks. Was that all? It was. He walks through John into the back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... Yeah, that, it's freaky, isn't it? Felt terrible. Uh, well, anyway, I'm just going to assist Kyle this, I'm not quite sure if you want to uh, do something else in the meantime. I think really we just kind of want to take it easy for the rest of today, don't we? Yeah, I'm I'm actually just uh, working on my uh, own notes. Oh, how's that coming along? Oh, I got five flowers written down and seven... Oh. Animals. 
that's Ooh, not quite well. Oh, I've got to say, these illustrations actually look really good. Thank you. I'm, I'm trying my best. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you showed me your stuff before, actually, but you've gone better. I, I have nothing else to do here, so... Um, is, uh, true, true. I mean, except, you know, fighting to survive. <laughs> uh, that's, that's more it's... your guys' thing, somehow. Hey, I just, uh, yeah. I think... Well, I mean, we're all in this together. I'm glad you guys are keeping me safe. Kara will start singing in this one. Oh, while she's working. Uh, anyway, well, I'm just going to stay down here and, uh, yeah, I just killed time with Kara, so, uh, yeah, I uh, think, I think I'm gonna check on uh, Mr. Martinez, see if he perhaps needs a second pair of hands. Yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> Now, if we move the arrow panels up to the other side of the till. See you in a bit. Uh, yeah, yeah, cool. Uh, hang on, Carl. Let me just uh, give you a hand with that there. Take a peek into the kitchen, see what uh, David is doing. You hear me just talking to myself? If only we had something like a refrigerator. We could try to make one, I say quietly from the door opening. No, oh, you scared the shit out of me. You want to make not... a fridge. Do you know how? Well, there's enough magic. Uh, they, talk, they talked about message devices, so why not a... Uh, you will hear lots device. of banking scripts as you're having this conversation. That's no, actually... no, Kara, be careful. Really smart. We could ask around. Um. Anyway, we're having stewed for today. No, don't put the arrows over there. Put them. No, there. I. You said put them on your left, or do you mean my left? But what are they doing you down there? Uh, they're rearranging the shop, make it more appealing for the customers. You know, put up nice thingies, things like that. I don't know. I don't know stuff about shopkeeping. I just write down some little notes on the map just to say where you put stuff, by the way. Anyway, did so, you need help, uh, Mr. Martinez? Um. Or just company? When I am rambling about the discoveries we made till now? Sure, you can do that. Alright. So, I made two sections. One is called Flora, which means flowers and plants and that kind of stuff. The other is fauna, that's like beasts. And no, I wrote the words mean. Okay, so I wrote down blood letters. That's one of the first things we found. We found glue balls and yellow flowers with white sensors. When we were looking for the deer, so I called them yellow deer flowers. And we also have the purpose of the purple citrus tulips and the mint cannabis. And that's all the five hours we found. In this multiverse thing. You're not giving them your own name or free Oh, I do. I give them, I give them that names. Bloodlets, I got Sengus Laktuka and Gluten Pila and a Purpura Citra Tulipa and Cannabis Menta. I give them Latin names like real. Oh. You know Latin? Oh, yeah, I got it in high school. Hmm. It was a mandatory class, I hated it. And I read a lot of uh, books about animals and plants as a child, so I know basic Latin of animals. All right. Say, so, could you uh, grab the others? The food is ready. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, oh. setting up uh, the table. I... Arrows, armor, smooth. Oh, I call the others. Brandon, Kara, Mr. Martinez is ready with uh, finished cooking. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll just be there in a second. Hey, oh, Kyle, Good. could you just could you just set my stuff down in the pile just uh, over there? We can continue sorting this out in a bit. It actually looks really nice. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't think we've done a terrible job by any stretch of the imagination. But anyway, it's time for foods. Kyle was already in the um, dining room area. She didn't hear a word of what you just said. <laughs> she, she sensed food and yes. wanted to claim it. 
So where where did I leave off this Martinez? Um, yeah, and I also wrote, wrote down about the red striped rabbit. Their saliva is numbing for some reason. For one moment, uh, John. Hello there, mouse. Hello. I shall name you Jesus. Jesus. You cannot rename him. I already called him Mouse. Oh, he, he does have a name. His name is... Uh... Mouse. Do you so, say, um, I'll, I'll humor you. Just call me Mouse. I, um... I have some cheese. If no. you like that. He grows in size to be a large mouse. I wouldn't do you like some cheese. However, we still have that small issue with the door. Do you think you could help with that? <sighs> it sounds like we're gonna be here for quite a while together, so it might be good to do um, to become friends or at least acquaintances they've been doing a very good job of stopping me eating red cheese <laughs> roll me yeah. oh, red cheese curry it's everything everything oh no natural one Ooh. she even eats rodents mm. she ate a red today like red kebab I don't she think works. you're safe from any of us. Maybe she eats one of us if she's really hungry. I believe it. He starts to shift and turns into a badger. I've never heard badger before. Don't eat mouse. I won't, I won't. I doubt I could. You try it, and I'll eat you. Honestly, at that point, it's survival of the fittest, so I don't even. I'm not even going to stop you. Maybe if you turn into something more tasty. Have you got the cheese? I love the cheese, and I'm going. I give him a small piece of the cheese. He takes the cheese. And he saunters away as a badger into the front. So, you made a stew. Yeah. How is it? It's, uh... Yeah, we don't have a lot, so, um... It's actually quite good. I mean... It is what it is. Anything is good. Does Carver it's think good. it's better than the kebab? Uh, roll me a survival, David. Seven. You know, you're not sure. The cops were awful tasty. I know that's uh, tulips just really offset it quite nicely. Still kind of tasting the tulip, to be honest. I can just still taste that flower from earlier. Hmm. Which one? Who oh, ate quite a lot? Flower. Only eaten one today. Oh, yeah. The, the purple one, right? Tulip. Tulip. I take out my notebook. It remains quite long. Okay. Tastes like that little lemon colored thing you get out of fish. I don't know what that's called. I always forget. Um, lemon? Lemon colored thing? Just, yeah. Just the lemon. Sliced up lemon. I say so. Alright. What did you usually eat when you were uh, back home? Eat caviar? That kind of stuff? Truffles? Dude, no, I don't like truffles. They're too funky. <laughs> okay. You, st you strike me as a pumpkin spice girl. Pumpkin spice latte? Oh my yeah. god, they have pumpkin spice here? No, but I think we could easily make that if we get pumpkin and some spices. 
there's pumpkin and pumpkin spice. Yes, there's pumpkin and pumpkin spice. I'm, I'm more baffled by the question, actually. She'll just... Yeah, you and me both, I'm actually. I'm thinking... You're... You're the foodie? I mean, eating and knowing what's inside ain't the same thing. Yeah, but... Uh, no, but the foodie is someone that does know a lot about different foods and because they have a lot of experience in it. Alright, I'm just baffled. Out of character, there is no pumpkin in pumpkin spice. There is? No. Just spice? Oh, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what's it called? Uh, the boxing gimmick then for Halloween. <laughs> can you say it's like a triple? How do you say Kanyo in a. Uh... It's uh... cinnamon, right? Cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, cloves. Kind of... But I thought this was also pumpkin. I thought it was like allspice, like ginger, cinnamon, maybe nutmeg. Yeah, it is, but you also, you also need pumpkin. Oh, yeah, they, uh, uh, how, do you, how do you say puree? Yeah. Google Translate. <laughs> mesh, mesh uh, pumpkin. They add to it with hot, hotted milk. All right. So, I think uh, I'm gonna hit the sack for the night. Already? We've just eaten. Well, I mean, to be fair, the reason we came back early today is because we're pretty well. <laughs> Well, I'm actually doing better have, now, uh, but yeah, you were, well, David especially, is pretty beat up. Yeah. I still have can some we, burn wounds, so. Can we all, like, fill up the water? Gold. Barrels. Oh, hey, you want to um, boil it, right? Yeah, yeah, do that, and then we can, like, freshen up before going to bed. Yeah, yeah, sounds like a plan. I know where the pots are. should also wash the dishes. Oh, ah, yeah. We'd true. have to finish tidying the front of the shop. We left that place. Immense. Yeah, yes. Uh, fair enough. Fair enough, Car. I, yeah, I did leave a pile out there. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll come and give you a hand with that before we, um, yeah, before we turn in for the night. I will uh, grab a book from the shelf and head upstairs. So, we were thinking about, like, selling potions, right? Uh, if we can find the stuff to reliably make them and know what generally sells, yeah, I don't see why not. It's like just staring at this back wall in town. Yeah. The books are here, but maybe they should go there. I mean, I think they look good. they look pretty good in a corner. Potions are valuable. We don't want them too close to the door. Um, I mean, maybe we but, could. Oh, but like, uh, do you have the front counter here? Is the like, um, is like a glass compartment that you can kind of see stuff with, or is it just a solid uh, yes. desk? Where is the glass compartment? Okay, um, but in that case, Brandon will say, Hey, maybe we kind of put them inside this glass compartment because, you know, we want to show them to the customers, but we want to keep them close. Oh, I didn't I think... even see that. Yeah, yeah, I reckon it'll look pretty sweet there. And, you know, we could probably lock it behind a key. I mean, the only thing is, I guess, someone could smash it, but, you know, it would be right there, so we could probably stomp, stop him. Or, I don't know, maybe John could stop him. I'm not really too good with fisticuffs. DM. Yes. As they are doing their stuff downstairs, I will try to um, summon Mouse with a piece of cheese. You just like draw a pentagram and kiss on the floor. And I just uh, put some my, uh, cheese in my hand and hope it will uh, attract him. 
Roll me a perception check. Perception. 17. You just stood there with a piece of cheese in your hand and you hear a seems to be like nails going across the wood. It sounds near you. You look down the hall one way, you don't see anything down the other way, you don't see anything up at the other way. Then you look up and you see the mouse looking like a large lizard crawling across the top of the roof and it's looking down at you. The tongue darting out, tasting the air and the cheese. Interesting. How are you doing, mouse? Smelling some cheese. Yes. As a reward, if you do open the door. Um, it can be our little secret. No one has to know that you complied, so you still have your pride intact, if that is uh, a th reason why you're not doing it. It drops down to the floor, landing, and then starts to shift into a somewhat humanoid form, standing up to about up to your stomach. I take a small step back. I did not realize you could become humanoid. Only monkey. But Close still yellow. So um, that means you have the capabilities of opening the door, since you can become small enough to go under it and then big enough to open it. So what do you say? I made a promise to the person inside there to leave them to rest. But they are dead now, aren't they? So, do you mean like an eternal rest, or...? As long as I could. And Devlin has chosen to honor it. That I can understand, but maybe a proper burial? If we reach our home world, then yes. I'm okay with it. What is her home world? Well, maybe we can go to it next before Devlin brings us to a, another stop. He doesn't really tend to take requests. It's more if we happen to go where she came from. I mean, he does honor her request at least. So I think there's some leeway in there. If you want anything, speak to him. I knock on the door. <laughs> Dev, I know you can hear me. And the head pops down from the ceiling. Yes, I can hear you. Say, um, I just... Still creepy. I uh, just heard from us uh, the reason or the, that you're honoring the request made by the person who's in there. So how about we make our next stop her world? If there is an item there that matches the resonance I need, then we will. If uh, not, then we will. Yeah, this is a small thing because you can go whenever, wherever. So, if we just make a quick stop, barrier, and then go to the world that has the next item. Traveling does use up resources, it doesn't simply happen for free. How much time would you need to jump? A jump is a jump, regardless of where I go. It'll cost the same. And how quickly can you jump after you have arrived? It might take me a day or two to be able to reconstruct the circle. 
Oh, wouldn't that be worth it? Because then you have one, your duty fulfilled. You have two, a room open and cleaned. Roll me persuasion. Dirty 20. Mm. It is a potential option. It would mean that we have to go to effectively refuel earlier than anticipated as well because of that. But I will consider it. I appreciate it. Now is that all? That is all. And I give a mouse a piece of cheese. Was it you and I farm? He just takes it straight up your fingers with his mouth. Still in monkey form? Well, monkey form, yeah. <laughs> Rob? I bet he said. Much is away out the cheese. And then saunters down the corridor, down the stairs, as a monkey. Alright. That will be in my room if I'm needed. And with that. Definitely walks into the room that's locked. And start reading a book. And that's it. As you're reading through the book, most of it seems to escape you what you're reading. But you are starting to be able to catch glimpses of some words. As you're reading, you feel like the lesson that you had helped. You can start to see the patterns. Hmm. Something about a leg. Interesting. What is everyone else doing? Boiling the water to get it clean. Uh, Brandon is still just assisting Kyle. I assume it takes a long time to change the shop around, so you... Yeah, yeah I'm guessing what's there. probably happening is Kara is choosing the location to support things and Brandon is probably just helping to move things around. <laughs> yep. Kara is just totally telling Brandon this guy's there. Yeah, the, 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 essentially he's happy to go along with that. A while into you sorting, the door opens up. So it wasn't locked. Hmm. 